known Billy Joe for a really long time. She gave me a tattoo. And his wife surprised him with a tattoo for his birthday, which I thought was really sweet. Cat actually came over to my house. Basically, he gave me a tattoo laying on the floor. We like quickly became friends and had music in common. And uh, I think we ended up just like talking a lot about our favorite black metal bands and stuff. This is actually the second collaboration we've done. Um, my wife is really involved in uh, Project Chimps, and then uh, we asked Kat if she wanted to get involved. They were trying to find funding for um, a chimp sanctuary that they were building out in Georgia, and I was like, man, I I'm, I'm on board. You know, I think anything that has to do with animal rights, especially with anti-animal testing, is like, that's something that I'm really into. It was really cool to see that side of Billy Joe because I don't think a lot of people get to see that all the time, especially, you know, fans just get to see him be a musician. And for me, getting to know him over the years, it's it's been really awesome to um, to see, like, what kind of person he is, you know, and he's the kind of person that would stand up for, for what's right. I ended up releasing The Shade That Everybody Loves, Project Chimps, and where all, all the proceeds went to uh, the sanctuary and helping rehabilitate 300 chimps from testing labs. Personally, I've always loved it when guys wear eyeliner. It's like, I think it's awesome and I think it looks great. And um, and Billy Joe's definitely kind of been like the king of dudes wearing eyeliner for so long. It was kind of the ultimate pickup line in hanging out in the punk scene or asking like a girl if, if she has eyeliner and uh, so I think I was around 18 or 19 years old when I, like, playing with Green Day, started wearing it. So when Billy Joe texted me about possibly doing an eyeliner collab and donating proceeds to the ACLU, I was like, man, this is awesome. I would love to do it. I think this might be the first time there's been a, um, a guy eyeliner or male eyeliner. I don't like to use guy liner. I think it's, it's pretty silly. <laughs> What I wanted to create with the basket case liner really was just to uh, create like an anti-precision eyeliner. Um, you know, this is like a big fat retractable pencil that you can just layer and smear and play around with it and not have it look Good perfect guy. and immaculate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love it. I had the idea of doing a photo shoot with Billy Joe where we kind of like pay homage to this old poster that I used to have as a kid. It was inspired by uh, a couple of Nancy photos. Um, no heroin. So <laughs> it was... Uh... What I remember from that, that poster was that Nancy just had like this blown out black smoky eye. And I always loved that look. I loved that aesthetic. Music has always been such a huge inspiration for me. Uh, I think it's inspired everything from art I create to makeup products. And I mean, a lot of people that know my, my makeup brand know that, like, you know, I named tons of shades after my favorite bands and lyrics and albums and, and uh, song titles and such. And so I'm always so excited whenever I get to collaborate with like a fellow musician because to me, I feel like that is my biggest news.